Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. All right, I'm making this video today for gentlemen only. I don't know if any of you are out there, but here's what I mean by that. Imagine being able to buy a ridiculously powerful car. You know, the 455 CID engines for uh, whether they are Buicks or Pontiacs, depends on what story you read. Those are the engines actually that powered the SR71 Blackbirds to start up, okay? That's a pretty cool idea when you think about it. this motor here had enough torque and things like that to fire that big motor up. That plane is still the fastest plane in the world today, 50 years later. All right, enough on that. But imagine what I'm saying when I, when I get to say gentleman's muscle car, imagine a lot of power and then some comfort thrown into it too. Everybody loves a Camaro, a Chevelle, a Mustang, but as we get a little bit older, there's nothing wrong with a little comfort. Throw in power disc brakes, power steering, air conditioning, 500 foot pounds of torque and positive traction rear end. This is what I mean when I say that. This car drives so beautifully, it's so beautifully restored. It has an upgraded suspension on it. And you're not really gonna notice that uh, if you took it to car shows and things like that, but you'll know it when you drive it because the car's tight, it handles well, uh, it's got a great footprint for the wheels and tires, and on top of it, it's really, really nice looking. Not only is it great looking out here, once you get inside, it's even nicer. All right, let's start with the paint, Platinum Mist Metallic. The great thing about silver paint in itself is that it highlights all of the great body lines of a car. For instance, the front end of the hood is one of the best muscle car front ends and hoods out there. Uh, quality of paint, no doubt that this is really, really nice. So come on up here and we check that out every time. The clarity of the letters, that's what you should be looking for. Can you read that in there? Spectacular, no expense spared, restoration, and you can keep reading those things in there. I can read that, and that's why I want you to see this. You're online, you're looking at other cars. People need to be doing that for you. You need to be talking about the car, starting the car, driving the car, those kinds of things, so you can get a feel of what this car really looks like. Pictures can make things look great. Look at, look at the cover of a magazine that nothing on the front cover of a magazine hasn't been touched by a professional photographer and people can do that all the time. Our stuff here, you get to see in the video, there's nothing we can really do with it other than maybe uh, take my head out of the picture to make it better, but the video is what the video is, all right? Okay, so we keep rolling around right here. Factory Buick wheel, done right because it's not exactly like a Magnum 500, okay? It's a little different, plus it's all chrome, so a Chevelle wheel which is a much less expensive car, would have had a trim ring and a painted wheel. This is how they saved money back in the day, man. You didn't get power steering and power disc brakes as standard stuff. Maybe on a Super Sport you got disc brakes, but you didn't get power steering or power disc brakes, and those things were extra. On the Buicks, a lot of things were standard because they knew, first off, this is a much more expensive car. Secondly, uh, a, more, uh, a more affluent buyer would have paid the money to get these things, and so they wanted really nice stuff. Throw in the front spoiler there and the mug that we talked about, and this looks really nice. You got the call outs here, which is just enough to let people know what just happened to them when you roll on by them, right? And you have this nice sound too of a restored car, which is this. That's a door, man. That door may say, well, that sounds great. It opens and closes. No, it opens and closes once. It doesn't rattle two and three times back and forth because all the parts inside are loose and the, and the guts are hanging out. That's a nicely done piece. Restored chrome here with the red pinstripes in there. Just enough sportiness to let you know. The wheels and tires fit great. Come on, let's roll around here. Check out the chrome and stainless. This is a nice bumper. Nicely done, great styling. And if you wanted to, the other thing you could add is the wing to the back, and we're happy to put that on for you. A lot of people like the wing. I think it looks great on the car as well, so that's totally up to you. Uh, the front and rear spoilers would definitely add a little more sporty feel to it if you want it. Some people like to lay low and have a little more uh, power while no one knows what's under the hood, and that's what we do for them, all right? If we could just roll around here just another second, because you say, well, why do you keep closing and opening the doors? Like, what's the big deal? All doors open and close. Yeah, sometimes, a lot of times we get cars here, the doors don't even open. So those are the kinds of things that we're making sure, believe it or not, uh, that sounds silly that we would make sure that happens. But this door right here is evidence of a restored car, and that's the difference. The difference is, there's no second or third window rattle in there. It opens and closes nicely. It fits like it's supposed to. The gaps are all like they're supposed to. If you want to go to a car show here, you pull up in this car. Once I open the hood of here, you will be like, wow, man, this thing is incredible. Because most people have not realized the value of these cars. Anything big block, anything big block, big motor is becoming very, very expensive now. These are the next wave of cars to come on up. And if, you, if you're mad at yourself because you didn't get in on a Chevelle like we have around here, okay, Get in now because 
these cars here quite possibly could pass as Javelles, especially since there's so few of them. And then throw in matching numbers too, and it's crazy. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood and uh, let's see what we got. All right, so come on over here because maybe you want to go to a car show. Even if you don't want to go to a car show, you're going to have a friend or something come over and you're going to want uh, to look under the hood. This is nicely detailed under here, all right? From the emissions decals to the cooling stickers, battery topper on there, factory air conditioning that works, right? Power disc brakes that work, power steering that works, okay? 455 V8, 455 cubic inches. Think about that for a minute. Bigger than the Chevrolet big block, right? And this one's a matching numbers engine and it's got a little more horsepower than stock, so it rolls down the road. It makes a great little rumble and uh, just the feeling of it that moves around is great. Finish the rest of the engine compartment, more decals over here, cadmium plated uh, power brake booster like it's supposed to, cadmium plated uh, master cylinder cap, so all of that stuff. It's not all spray bombed black. It's not all uh, just to cover over. Everything's a different color like it's supposed to be. You can see the new wiring on the, wi on the wiper motor, all the parts on the AC, just stuff like that. And even down in here, it's nicely detailed. This isn't spray bombed black. These hood adjusters aren't spray bombed black. They're all just uh, little stuff. And you say, well, what's the big deal about a hood adjuster? Well, the big deal about a hood adjuster is when people try to make this piece look great, they typically just paint the whole thing black, right? This says that somebody took a little f extra effort when they were restoring the car and it made it look really nice. All right, so we talk a little more about the restoration of a car. Like, let's check this out. Listen. The fit, the gaps, all that stuff that's important. You know why? Because the gaps and everything are not wound up in the trunk. And that's what most people don't understand. That, the, that all of this doesn't happen because of the trunk. All of this happens because of the quarter panels. And the quarter panels are the most work of every car to make sure they either they're original, they're hung on properly or something like that. And that's what's given us this beautiful gap that you could take to a show and look really nice. So you open the hood and you open the trunk, okay? When you go there, trunk splatter coat painted and it's clear coat painted on top of that. Has the right mat in it. Has the jacking instructions in here, okay? It comes with this right here if you want to put that on. All right. It also comes with, because the engine has been upgraded to these specs, all right, and what we're told is that it has a stage one cam and a couple other upgrades, whoops, you could put these on. Now if it was me, what I would do is I, we would cut these pins off, right? We would cut the pins off and put double-sided tape on here and just stick them on the side so that if you ever decide to sell the car, there's no holes in the fenders and if the person wanted to take them off, they could. I think that's a really cool emblem. I love those emblems. Stage one, it even sounds cool. All right, so those are in here, as well as the air cleaner decal. All right, and they'll be inside this uh, folder here with a couple other little things for you. Uh, when you take delivery, we'll just leave them in the trunk. We'll leave that up to you. But if you want us to put those on for you, just call us. We'll uh, I'll cut the pins off and, and put them on uh, where they're supposed to go, okay? Anyway, just a, a beautifully, I mean, it's as shiny inside the trunk as it is outside the trunk, and most people don't do that. So come on in here, because this is where you're going to spend your time. You're going to spend your time in here, all right? Nice door. I love this door. All right. So over here, we have some cool little things that hang off. Um, I just wanted to show you real quick. Just like little starting instructions about cold weather, uh, how the HVAC system works and things like that. All right. Uh, the, as we said, this has air conditioning in it. So this is really restored to stock with a couple modern upgrades underneath the car. And that's what you want. You want this car to drive as nicely as today's modern car, uh, but have the great rumble and feel of a classic car. And I think this really does a great job of that hybrid. So original AM FM stereo. What we do for a lot of people is inside the glove box here, all right, we hide uh, a digital sound system, all right? And that way you can have all your iTunes and all the other stuff, or all the music that you have. And you don't have to uh, cut up the dash uh, and make some changes but you still get everything you want. You can have satellite radio, you can have all this stuff. We're happy to get that installed for you as well. Uh, here's an owner's manual, you're gonna wanna read that. This is our checkover sheet, because when we drive these cars, we check off all the things about it. So, so when you get the car, you know that we uh, did our homework as well. All right? Okay, um, over here, I'll point this out only because I want you to see this. Because it has the console buckets and things like that, which make it really nice, the shift selector is in here, it's not on the, on the column, but the clock is working as well, all right? That's level of restoration. Most people don't do that stuff. The footwell lighting is working. You say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about footwell lighting? Well, 
Footwell lighting working doesn't nine times out of ten didn't work five years after the car was built, let alone uh, 50 years after the car was built. So uh, to have those things working and have the air conditioning be cold and the clock working and the gauges working and the, uh, the dome light and all that good stuff says to me that you have a really, really nice restored car. All right, so let's close up the video here for a second and just run down some bullets that are important. Let's say they built 100,000 Skylark sets this year, only 8,300 were 455 Grand Sports, right? Throw in the fact that this is matching numbers as well, how many are really left? You could be the only one uh, at any car show ever, as long as you own this car. You may never see another one, especially just like it. Uh, and when you throw in the 455, the big turbo 400 transmission, this has a 12 bolt rear in it. And uh, people are on the fence about whether the 12 bolt rear is supposed to be stock or not. I've seen uh, 455 GTOs have the 12 bolts as well. And I've heard that they're authentic too. So I'm not really sure about that. I don't want to dwell too long on it, but what I'm getting at is, the drivetrain is all heavy-duty stuff. It's the best stuff that General Motors offered. You couldn't buy any more, any better, as far as the, those heavy-duty components, right? Uh, the power steering, the power disc brakes, factory air conditioning, man, factory air conditioning, which is really cool. But we heard how the doors closed. We saw all the dash gauges all restored, and the clock is working. Anyway, bottom line is this, very cool car. I feel it's investment grade. I feel like this is the kind of car that's gonna continue to go up in value and may past the Chevelles and Camaros and Mustangs and things like that because they're so rare, there's so few of them. Once you drive this car, man, you are going to love it. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this GS455. All right, so here's what we do. We'll fire it up for you so you can hear it. And listen to this thing idle, man. You can tell that, uh, that she's no stock Buick and sounds really, really good.